Taxpayers bought it, $700,000 for a home on a sprawling property. Grand Prairie's superintendent lives there for about $1,000 a month. And a Fox 4 investigation continues finding more money spent on this home. The reasons given are raising more questions. Fox 4's Lori Brown looks for more answers tonight. Lori live in Grand Prairie. What can you tell us? Heather, when we questioned the district about spending $125,000 to renovate the $700,000 home that the superintendent currently lives in, the board president at the time told us that mold remediation was a factor. But since then, we've learned that the district cannot produce any documentation of mold at the house. Fox 4 investigations have showed you how Grand Prairie taxpayers bought this home complete with a swimming pool and paid to renovate it for more than $800,000. Benefiting from it all, the district superintendent, Dr. Susan Hull. The costly renovations were done without board approval, even though the total amount involved required their okay. The district admitted splitting the cost into separate lower amounts was a violation of district policy and have retained an outside attorney to look into that. But the issue of why those renovations were necessary in the first place is still unclear. The district put out a statement last month quoting then board president Terry Brooks as saying the home required extensive maintenance, including mold remediation, which was accomplished along with some additional improvements. However, none of the invoices we received said anything about mold remediation. So we requested the inspection report done before Grand Prairie ISD bought this house. And these 61 pages, there's not one mention of mold. And the district failed to produce any seller's disclosure of mold or any records at all that reference mold. Today, Brooks, who is still on the board as a trustee, did not answer our questions about why he said the renovations included mold remediation. The president is the spokesperson for the for the board right now. The newly elected school board president, Steve Pryor, told me over the phone that mold remediation may not have been the right term to use. He said he did not want to talk on camera because of the investigation into the renovations. The district points out that Superintendent Hull pays rent for the home. The adjusted cost to her, $1,000 a month. Late today, the district sent us a statement about not having documentation of mold at the house. Spokesman Sam Buckmeyer said that the inspection report does reference mold, the part where it says inspectors are not required to look for mold. Buckmeyer also claims that there was mold remediation, but he admits it was minor. Heather. All right. Lori Brown stated on the story. Thank you.